I will now be narrating a few words of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to make us understand how important it is for us to play role in any form of jihad either by the word of our mouth by our pen by our our money or by our life in any form for prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that if a person if a person stayed alive and throughout his life neither did he do any form of jihad nor did he develop any desire to do any form of jihad in the path of Allah then on the day of judgment he will be presented in the court of Allah like a hypocrite so it is hypocrisy it is decided hypocrisy to embrace Islam and to believe and have faith in Allah's messengers in the book and then to intentionally stay away from jihad or to avoid jihad in any form this is hypocrisy as labeled by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allahumma tahhir qalbi min an-nifaq the excellence of jihad hazrat abu zar ghafari radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu narrates in bukhari the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said having belief in allah prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked he was asked ayul amalu afzal which of the acts is the best act which out of the deeds or the acts is the best acts Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said iman billah wa jihadun fi sabilihi having believe in Allah and after that jihad in the path of Allah Allah the almighty which you announce and you declare and you claim to have believe in the second good deed and the second best deed will be then to do jihad in the way of the Allah you announce to believe in Hazrat Abu Huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in Tirmizi that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked that which acts are the most excellent or which acts are the best he said what he said having belief in Allah and his prophet and then he was asked what next he said al jihadu sanamul amal jihad is the hump it is the peak it is the climax jihad which is the hump of all acts and when he was asked what next he said hajj mabrur that is a hajj which is granted to be granted to be accepted it is it will be accepted similarly hazrat abu huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked ayul amalu ahabbu ilallah which which of the deeds or acts of the bondsman are those which are the most beloved in the sight in the sight of Allah prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said as-salatu ala waqtiha birrum bil walidain al-jihad fi sabilillah offering salah at its proper time and being nice and kind and merciful and obedient to the parents and doing jihad in the path of Allah hazrat abu said qudri radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in muslim the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there is an act which will cause the exaltation of one one's grades to 100 times above paradise and the distance between one grade and the other is equal to that of the earth and the skies so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is telling about an act which will raise the ranks and the grade of a person in jannah by 100 times companions asked what is that act prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said jihad in the way of allah jihad in the way of allah so this is the merit and the excellence of jihad fi sabilillah as a tubada bin samit radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in musnad musnad ahmad the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said fight in the path of allah because indeed fighting in the path of allah is what is one of the gates of paradise and by it allah absolves one of sorrows and griefs so there is a gate in jannah which is known as babul jihad only the mujahideen only those who are going to jihad do jihad in the path of allah will be allowed and will be asked to enter to that gate of jannah that babul jihad 
Hazrat Khuzala bin Ubaid radiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in Nasai that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam promised. He said, I am the leader and I give the guarantee for one who believes in me and my grace. A person who believes and then my grace. I, I promise and I guarantee what? A house outside the Jannah, a house in the middle of Jannah, and a house in the upper story of Jannah. And I give guarantee for one who believes in me and my grades, <coughs> who believes in me and who my grades, and who fights in the path of Allah, a house outside Jannah, a house in the middle of Jannah, and a house in the upper part of Jannah. And in other words, Prophet ﷺ said, a palace in the highest rank of Jannah. Because one who does all these three acts, three acts being believing and then migrating and then doing jihad. One who does all these three acts, does noble deeds and is completely safe from all evils. Such a person should die whenever he may. His reward will never be decreased. Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala who reports in Bukhari that a person came to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and asked, he said, please tell me such an act for which the reward is equal to that of jihad. Any act, any deal, deed of the bondsman which would be rewarded the similar as jihad would be. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, there is no such act. There is no such act. Then Prophet ﷺ, Hazrat Mu'az bin Jabal radiallahu ta'ala who reports in Tirmzi that he said, Paradise or Jannah becomes due for a man who fights in the path of Allah, even for a period equal to that of milking a she-camel. Such a brief period, one fights in the path of Allah and Jannah will become due for them, guaranteed for them. Hazrat Anas radiallahu ta'ala who reports in Muslim, that Prophet Sallallahu said, to march for jihad in the path of Allah for one morning or for one night is better than what is in the world and whatever the world contains. Hayrum min dunya wa ma fiha. Marching for jihad one morning or one night is better than what is in the world and whatever it is in the world and whatever it is in it. This will, the person who is marching in the path of Allah will remain safe from fire. Hazrat Abdul Rahman reports in Bukhari that Prophet said, Fire of hell has been forbidden. Fire of hell will not touch. It has been forbidden on the feet of one who gets covered with dust in the way of Allah. And then what would be the rank and what would be the reward of a mujahid would be Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala who reports, the Prophet said, staying for a moment in the way of Allah, just for a few minutes, and the path of Allah is better than standing in Salah near hajr aswad at the night of destiny. Laylatul Qadr, khayrun min qayamil laylatul qadr in the hajr al-aswad, standing near the black stone at the night of Laylatul Qadr. The whole night staying in a state of salah. What is better? One moment of jihad. So this is the excellence of jihad. And then Hazrat Abu Musa Ashri radiallahu ta'ala who reports in Muslim, the Prophet said, the gates of paradise are under the shades of swords. Swords of whom? Swords of the Mujahideen. What is the excellence of Mujahideen? Hazrat Abu Tayyid Qudri radiallahu ta'ala who reports that a man said, he asked, who is the most excellent of all peoples? Who is the most excellent of all peoples? Prophet Sallallahu said, a believer who performs jihad in the path of Allah with his life and with his property. So there you are. Verse number 95, Allah says, Al-Mujahideena bi amwalihim wa anfusihim. So jihad can be with their with their bodies, with their souls, and with their money and wealth. So jihad is not just fighting. It can be spending anything, time, money, wealth, riches, anything in the path of Allah. And how 
how is the excellence of a mujahid as at abu huraira radiyallahu ta'ala who reports in nisai that the example of fighter in the way of allah is like the one who keeps fasts continually who stands erect in adoration always fears allah and continues bowing before allah that is ruku and continues prostrating that is sajda a person who is in continuous ruku continuous qiyam continuous sajda continuously fasting and continuously in a state of fear of allah and then allah has promised allah has taken the responsibility to help and to protect a mujahid as at abu huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in tirmizi that prophet has said that allah is responsible for the help of three people number one a mujahid a fighter in the path of allah number two a slave who pledges a bond to play his price to his master for his freedom makatibat and the third is one who just gets married to be safe from sins from immola- immorality or committing adultery he just gets married so the person allah will take charge he will be he will be helping him looking after him and supporting him similarly one who fights has it ibn umar radiyallahu ta'ala who reports in ibn majah the prophet has him said one who fights in the way of allah one who is like or one who performs hajj one who fights in the way of allah who performs hajj or who performs umrah all these are the guests of allah allah summoned them and they attended to his call so when they will pray to allah their prayer will be granted acceptance the supplications of mujahideen will be accepted is the promise of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it's not just about the mujahideen people who are going to help them have always have always tried to support them they ha- also have an excellence hazrat abdullah bin amr radhiyallahu ta'ala who reports in abu daud the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said for a person who goes to take part in jihad there is one reward and for a person who sends one to jihad by helping him with funds there is double reward one for the funds and one equal to that of the mujahid himself so the person who is going to spend money or who is going to monetarily or economically in any way support the mujahid is going to get double reward Similarly has Zaid bin Khalid Juhaini radiyallahu ta'ala who reports in Muslim the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said one of the two men should go for jihad and the other should stay behind to look after the house both will get equal reward so the helpers the supporters those who spent for the mujahideen have been promised equal reward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us understand the merits of jihad the excellence of mujahideen and make us one of those who do jihad in any form or other and accept all these deeds from us and may these deeds be a source of prayer maybe these deeds be a source from release of hell and may these deeds be a source of entering for all of us in in the jannah ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك الرحمه انك انت الوهاب سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين امين ثم امين